Can you hear me? We can now, go right ahead. Okay, oh, I apologize. Um, so, you know, we are here on the Mendel campus. Um, um, we have about 34,000 residents in, um, in McMinnville here. And on our campus, we have 1,400 students. 85% uh, of our classes are 22 students or fewer. We have an 11 to one uh, student to faculty ratio and 34% of our students are students of color. Here we have um, 50, over 50 different majors to choose from. 43 majors are gonna be in the College of Arts and Sciences. And we have seven different majors to choose from within our School of Business with four minors as well. Um, our, both of these colleges are gonna be located on the McMinnville campus and students have until the end of their sophomore year to declare a major. And then, like I said, we have a McMinnville campus, but we also have a Portland campus and that is gonna be home to our School of Nursing. And it's the oldest uh, nursing education program within the Pacific Northwest. And the School of Nursing has been, um, has about 350 students and we have partnerships with over hundred different uh, clinics that range from Vancouver, Washington, all the way down to Eugene, Oregon. Uh, the first two years of your pre-rep courses will be here on the McMinnville campus. After that, you will transfer up to the Portland campus. And one thing to keep in mind is that we would have a seat for you. So it's non-competitive in that respect. As long as you pass your classes here and do what you need to do, um, we will save that seat for you there. And we are a liberal arts university. So um, we do have one third of our education would be our Linfield curriculum. One third would be your uh, general electives and the other third would be your major specific courses. And that's just to give you a, a wide breadth of education in your time here. We really want you to explore and learn as much as possible and dive deep into all these different classes. And we also believe in uh, you know, hands-on research so for students, um, about 80% of our students will participate in hands-on research or an internship before they graduate. And these are just some examples here of what our students have done this past summer. And uh, yeah, here is one of our students working within the chemistry lab. And we do have 15 different countries that we choose, uh, that we are able to go to for study abroad. And we have over 30 different uh, sites that we go to. About 40% of our students uh, will study abroad before they graduate. We offer semester long programs, we offer year long programs, and we also have a January term where students can study abroad. And as you can see here, uh, students will, their first round trip airfare will be free. Now on campus, we have a lot of fun activities that go on outside of class and they are run through our student government, including clubs, intramural sports, rec programs, and there's over 300 different positions for leadership. And about 15 to 20% of our students will participate in fraternity and sorority life and all performing arts groups, including theater productions or um, music production, music ensembles, they are open to all of our students regardless of your major. And we have a number of big events throughout the year, including our Hispanic celebration in the fall, Luau in the spring, and Wild Stock, which is a concert to celebrate the end of the school year. And we've had artists like Macklemore, we've also had uh, Dan and Shay in uh, more recent years. And in regards to our resident life, we have uh, 15 different res residence halls, but we have a three-year living requirement here. Uh, but we offer options for co-ed, single gender, gender inclusive, pet friendly, um, and we also have a, uh, a substance free hall as well. So we try to really offer all sorts of options for all, all students. And about 75% of our students will choose to live here for all four years. Students would have uh, meal plan options here. All of our, um, and going into your junior and senior year, we do have on-campus apartments for you where you would have a full kitchen and it is an option to stay on a meal plan or not. Now we are D3 for athletics and we have 21 different NC2A uh, competitive teams here. And about 30% of our students will participate on a sports team. We've had a lot of success with our football team, uh, baseball team and softball. They are some of our most successful, but uh, 
a lot of our teams are growing and we've got a new uh, video board for our football and track. And we also have a brand new soccer field and lacrosse field that's getting put in. We have a, for our application, uh, we do utilize the Common App. It is a free application for us. Uh, big thing for this year is we are going test blind. So we're not gonna be requiring a uh, SAT or ACT score and that will not have any impact on any sort of merit-based or financial aid that you would be getting from us. Uh, we do have an early action deadline of November 1st, and we will get you a decision by January 15th. Uh, virtual scholarship and visit week this year is an opportunity to earn up to $20,000 of scholarship money and a regular decision priority of February 1st. Now, Linfield's total direct cost is just under $58,000, uh, but we do offer uh, an average financial aid package of about 40,000 or just over $40,000 to a majority of our students. And, you know, for our merit-based scholarship, those do go up to $26,000 per year. And that's based off of your weighted GPA. And we're also open for campus visits. Uh, you can meet with financial aid coaches, uh, myself as an dementia counselor and get a full tour of our campus. So thank you. Appreciate your time and I'll hand it over to the next presenter. All right, perfect. Uh, Prescott College up next. Thank you very much. I'll go ahead and share my screen here. All right, so thank you so much for your time. Hi, my name is Callan Peterson and I'm Assistant Director of Admissions at Prescott College. I'm so excited to see that you're interested in learning more about our awesome school community. So to start out with, I would like to touch on location. Uh, Prescott is a small private liberal arts college which, with a focus on social and environmental justice. And we're located in beautiful Prescott, Arizona. We're about an hour and a half north of Phoenix, up in the Bradshaw Mountains, settled right on the edge of the Prescott National Forest. Our location makes us a perfectly suited launching point uh, for both our experiential field-based learning, as well as all of the outdoor activities that the Prescott area is famous for, such as hiking, rock climbing, biking, and kayaking. But Prescott is uh, about more than just its wonderful location. We're about our students. The key principle behind Prescott College is to educate our students to make a living, making a difference. Students who come to Prescott College want to make a difference in the world, and that's why we call them change makers. Our graduates go off to be the change they want to see in the world, becoming community organizers, founders and CEOs of nonprofits, and even U.S. senators. And our partnerships with organizations such as the U.S. Forest Service, Knowles, Outward Bound, and many more means that our students are stepping right out into the jobs that they want. Prescott supports our students towards this goal of making a difference uh, by taking a very different approach to education that has won us numerous awards for innovation. First off, we follow an experiential model that puts our students in classes that cap at 20 students and average 14, where they split their class time between hands-on based fieldwork and discussion-based Socratic seminars. Students are assessed not through 200 question multiple choice tests, but through projects, presentations, papers, and internships, allowing students to have a greater direction over their learning. We're also a block schedule school, meaning that students don't take all of their classes concurrently. They instead take just one class at a time for four weeks. This allows for both a greater dive into their topic of study and more opportunities for field work and internships. All of this together makes students the drivers of their education, having the ability to direct not only the model of their learning, but also having direct control over their degrees. Speaking of degrees, Prescott has a large number of undergraduate fields of study, with our most popular being our longest running adventure education program in the country, our Adventure Ed BA, our top 10 in the nation ranked environmental studies and sustainab uh, sustainability BS and BA, uh, cultural and regional studies, psychology and human development, interdisciplinary studies, arts and humanities, a BFA in arts and letters, and a BA in education with full levels of certification. On top of that, we have over a dozen master's and PhD programs, including Resilient and Sustainable Communities MS, an MBA in Sustainability Leadership, an MS in Counseling, MS Environmental Studies, and lots more. 
And one of the coolest things with our master's programs is that they're all available to be taken tuition free as an accelerated option where students complete both their bachelor's and master's degree in just five years. In terms of travel opportunities, uh, this is another way that we encourage our students to take advantage of hands-on learning uh, through our huge variety of remote and field-based blocks and semesters. We have international opportunities at our field stations in Masailand, Kenya, Kino Bay, Mexico, Telemark, Norway, and Costa Rica. And because these programs are all owned by the college, they're still taught in that hands-on experiential model. We also have domestic opportunities all across the West, including our famous Grand Canyon uh, semester and our partnerships with Eco League and the Consortium for Innovative Environments in Learning. Now, there's a lot of other things, of course, that make Prescott College great, uh, but one of them is our application process. At Prescott, we follow a holistic approach to admissions, meaning that we're interested in getting to know who you are as a person, not just what your grades were. For that reason, we require students to, yes, submit their transcripts, but also an admissions essay and a personal reference. Oh, and our application is free because we never want finances to be a barrier to students applying to college. We are test optional and on the Common App as well. In terms of community life, uh, student life and housing, uh, we have an incredible student community with dozens of student run clubs, a beautiful campus, and we're just blocks away from historic downtown Prescott. We also have some incredible LEED Platinum certified dorms for incoming students, which continue our sustainability model of being 100% solar powered. Uh, in terms of scholarships and affordability, 99% of undergraduate students who come to Prescott College will receive institutional aid. And with our up to $16,000 a year Changemaker scholarship, we're one of the most affordable private colleges around. And as a private non-for-profit college, we don't have a difference between in-state and out-of-state tuition. So what do you do next? Stay connected. You can find out more, schedule a visit, schedule a tour, or connect with an admissions counselor all on our website, prescott.edu. And as myself being the representative for the entire state of Nevada, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me directly. And my contact information is on the screen. I hope to see you this fall as a new Prescott College student and have a wonderful rest of your evening. Okay, perfect. Um... Thank you for, uh, for all that information. Um, folks on the other end, I've just got a quick slide to show you to wrap things up. Um, and then um, I will uh, let you go for the night. All right, folks. <clears throat> Again, thank you for joining us here at the Western Association for College Admission Counseling's Virtual College Fair for Reno. Um, a quick survey will be sent uh, to you uh, as you close out of this session. Um, again, there's one more block of sessions after this one, and um, uh, you'll find the recording uh, uh, in a link uh, that um, uh, in the link that you were sent to register for this particular virtual college fair. So I would like to thank our representatives from Cornish College of the Arts, from Pacific Northwest College of Art from Gonzaga University, from Lewis and Clark College, from Linfield University, and from Prescott College. Thank you for joining us tonight, and I wish everybody a great evening. Bye-bye now. <laughs>